Hey guys, Josh here from Sports Headquarters. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys' fishing season has started off good. You're catching some fish. Um, if not though, we're gonna talk about a few baits today that have been working very well for myself and some that I recommend for you to try for smallmouth. Now, the baits that we're talking about today are a little more of a, an aggressive presentation, you know, always casting, not really any finesse baits where you're sitting there holding it and working a spot like very, very tightly. This is more so for finding fish and then uh, locating them a lot quicker using faster moving baits. So we're gonna dive into that right now. Also, one more thing guys, we just have our OG sweaters back in stock. There's gonna be a link in the description down below if you wanna shop for yourself in lots of different sizes. Uh, let's dive right into the video. Okay, so first things first, one of my favorite baits to use in spring, in summer, in fall, just what any time of the year is a swim bait. And this is what that looks like right there. So that is a 3.3 inch Kai Tech with a Smeltinator underspin uh, jig head. This is a very, very versatile bait. First off, it's Kai Tech is known for having a very soft plastic, so it provides a really live-like action. With this willow blade design on the Smeltinator underspin too, um, it's constantly spinning, which is causing flashes underneath the water, attracting the fish. With the swim bait, you can fish them a couple different ways. If you're fishing really shallow, you know, three feet of water, you can cast it, and as soon as it hits the water, retrieve it just underneath the surface. Or if you're fishing a little bit deeper, cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, and then reel in really slow. And you want this to be spinning, but also every now and then bumping on rocks. Um, then you know you're right in the strike zone, and usually when a bass hits a swim bait, it's like a punch to the arm. It's it's very aggressive, and they chomp it. So this is also one of my favorite colors here. It's a little uh, green pumpkin kind of orange, but once again, swim baits work well all year round. Super versatile, you'll catch walleye on them too. You'll catch probably pike because they bite about anything. Um, but smoke thing underspin, high tech swim bait. We have a bunch of other ones too. Z-Man, power baits, gulp, etc. Uh, links for these will also be in the description. But swim bait, number one, let's go to bait number two. All right, so bait number two, guys. This is a new bait for this year, and this is even more aggressive than a swim bait. And what I'm talking about here is the new Z-Man Chatterbaits Mini Max. This thing is a fish catching machine. It's everything's been downsized. The hook, uh, the head you can still get in like a quarter ounce or three eighth ounce. The blade is smaller. It's just overall a smaller profile for targeting smallmouth bass. You'll still catch largies on these, but if you really want to cover water quick, create a lot of noise with this chatter, it is such a good bait for smallmouth. And what I have it tipped off here with is a Z-Man Baby Goat trailer. And I kind of have it on a little bit of an angle, so the tails are going this way. And what's nice about Z-Man is their Elazitech stretch. As long as you don't get this thing snagged and lose it, this bait will last you a very long time. They're very durable, and it's just a great trailer for this chatterbait. And personal preference on the color, I like usually changing it up on the inside here. So we have a green pumpkin skirt, and then this is a fire craw, I believe. Um, you can use a Canada craw, you can use a green pumpkin to match it up. It's all personal preference, but uh, chatterbaits, once again, you're casting around rocks on top of weeds. The nice thing with the chatterbait blade is it actually will deflect some weeds and some grass. So you can kind of toss it, whoops, kind of toss in some areas that have a little bit more heavy cover. So great bait, caught a lot of smallmouth on it this year. And once again, it's new, awesome. Number two, let's go to number three. And last but not least, guys, another uh, universal bait that you can use spring, summer, and fall. And that's, you know, Five to 12 feet of water, depending on it, is uh, is jerk baits. So I have a few here. Got a Rapala, and then you got a Mega Bass here. Um, great, great baits. Once again, you're casting. Hit, hit, pause. Hit, hit, pause. You can be as aggressive as you want with it. Usually, when the water temperature is a little bit colder in the springtime, you give it a little more of a pause because the fish is a little more lethargic. But right in the summer, you can be ripping it nonstop, causing a lot of action in the water and uh, getting those smallies fired up. So once again, these will be linked in the description. Browse on sportsheadquarters.ca, all the different colors, sizes, and everything. And uh, yeah, those are my top three fun updates so far this year. If you have any questions, guys, give us a phone call at the shop. Leave a comment down below and uh, make sure you subscribe for all these future videos. Good luck fishing.